It is my tremendous honor to present Sue Wicks for induction into the New Jersey Hall of Fame. Sue is an esteemed and revered Rutgers University graduate. Now, I first met Sue when I was a rookie in the New York Liberty's training camp. So I'm a rookie, and Sue is fresh off an appearance in the finals the previous year. I'm just trying to make the team. I go to practice one day, and Sue comes over to me, and she's like, Co, what? Where did you play college ball? And I go, Notre Dame. And she goes, they let you play there? You're so small. So I go, Sue, well, where did you play? And with no hesitation, with a lot of pride, she looks at me and she says, I played at Rutgers. Rebecca Lobo, one of our teammates, kind of overhears the conversation, and she goes, Cole, Sue is being way too modest. He didn't just play at Rutgers. She was a legend at Rutgers. Sue has won just about every award you could possibly win in basketball. And in fact, she was named the second most inf influential Rutgers athlete in Rutgers history, second only to Paul Robeson tremendous accomplishments as a player. So let's go to the screen and take a look at Sue's amazing life. Congratulations, 2023 Hall of Famer, Sue Wicks. Sue played for Rutgers from 1984 to 1988. She was a recipient of the Naismith Player of the Year Award and a gold medalist in the USA Pan American Games in 1987. Wicks was the sixth overall pick of the 1997 WNBA draft by the New York Liberty. She would play six seasons, all with the Liberty, including playing in four WNBA finals. In 2002, she came out as the first openly gay player in the WNBA. She's held various coaching positions after retirement and was inducted into three sports Hall of Fames, including Rutgers and the Basketball Hall of Fame. And now it's time for her induction into the New Jersey Hall of Fame. With great honor, I welcome Rutgers legend Sue Wicks into the New Jersey Hall of Fame. Washington. I, I never said she was too small. Never said that. So, wow, what an honor. And it's so great to be in the great state of New Jersey. I am so excited. And I'm saying this not for you to feel sorry for me, but I live in Long Island now. But as soon as I cross that river and get over here to Jersey, something happens to my heart. I have elation. I feel at home here. So the other thing that happens when I get across, to, I, it's not that I change the radio station because it's always on E Street Radio. I just turn it up a little bit more to feel so Jersey. The opportunity I was given by Rutgers University changed my life. It was to be entrusted with that scholarship meant so much to me coming from a working class family. It was everything, and I think the world has changed in so many ways for the better in college athletics, but I think we lose sight of that wonderful opportunity that we're given um, to get an education. And I got an education not only in the classroom, not so much, you know, but on the basketball court by one of the greatest coaches of all time, Teresa Grant. And she, yes, she's the best. I knew very little about basketball when I started, and by the time I was done, I felt I was prepared and ready to travel all around the world playing basketball before we had the WNBA. And it is from that New Jersey background. I was loved and nurtured 
more than I deserved when I got here, and it was endless. When I went um, and played for the New York Liberty in Madison Square Garden, that sea of red, faithful New Jersey, Rutgers fan base followed and made me feel at home on that court as well. So thank you so much. I want to say thank you to my friends that showed up for me tonight. Kate Sweeney, of course, who shows me everything Rutgers, always connected. I have jerseys, strong Rutgers t-shirts forever. So I, I love that connection. Thank you to my friends again. Thank you to um, Steve Edwards and the committee for nominating me and for the great state of New Jersey again for voting for me. This is a very humbling honor and I, 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 I'm surprised that I can even make this speech because I'm blown away by this. So thank you, New Jersey.